Hello and welcome to Coaching Mains Calx 101 Episode 3. Calx 101 is a series that is meant to teach you the basics of Calx in theory crafting in order to have a better understanding of the most important aspects of it. By the end of this episode, you should have a better understanding of damage percentage and crit multiplier. The damage percentage bonus is going to be used in the formula to amplify the damage or better say modify. And then the crit multiplier is also a, an interesting formula that is going to put your crit to use. All the resources used in this video will be linked in the description below. So let's start. If you check the damage formula, you can already see right after base damage that it's multiplied with 1 plus damage bonus plus damage reduction. What does this mean? Well, this is your damage bonus multiplier. It's 1 plus all your damage bonuses, in our case here our pyro damage bonus, minus damage reduction. Damage reduction is pretty rare, you can mostly ignore it in Calx, especially if you go by standard, but there are a few cases where they are present and they represent the damage reduction from uh, enemies, such as the angry samurai which takes less damage than usual when it gets all fired up. To calculate this, we are going to get our tab here for damage percent and simply do exactly what the formula says. 1 plus our power damage bonus. We are going to reference it with F4, so we can copy it or drag it to all the other attacks. And this is basically everything with damage percentage. Now we are going to continue with crit mold. Okay, let's see what's the deal with crit multiplier. The formula here just says crit. What do I use? My crit rate, my crit damage, both. Well, if you scroll down a bit, you can see right here critical hits. Let's see, what's the deal with it? On crit, you can do three types of calculation. You can either do a crit hit by doing one plus your crit damage, a non-crit hit, which is basically just one, you don't include crit damage at all, or you can do an average crit, which basically sets up your average damage with your crit rate. If you have 50 crit rate and 200 crit damage, you will do less average damage than if 73 crit rate and the same 200 crit damage. So with this you can basically see what's the overall performance difference between uh, crit rate values. To calculate the average crit multiplier, you're going to do 1 plus this weird clamp formula. What is this clamp formula? This is from a, a coding language. It's not the same formula in Excel, but you will see the alternative. Basically gets the medium value between everything. You see that the minimum set here is 0%, the maximum 100%, and then our crit rate. These are more like borders. Generally, you will have your crit rate below 100, let's say 80. So when you use this clamp thing, you are going to leave it with 80% crit rate. The clam thing will choose 80% crit rate because it's like the middle point between these three values. But there are cases where you might go over 100%, like in free teams. And then the formula will have to choose between 0%, let's say 110, and 100. Since crit rate over 100 doesn't do anything, you have to make the formula understand that. So the extra crit rate that goes past 100 doesn't actually influence the damage. So with crit rate here higher than 100, the clamp will see the 100% crit rate as the middle value. So that's what is going to pick here. It will basically cap it to 100%. And then there is the very special case for Kokomi and the reason why 0% exists here. Since she can have negative crit rate, you cannot calculate negative crit rate. Again, it will influence the calcs in the opposite way of free steams overcapping on crit. It will be way too low for the formula to actually do something and it will literally make you do negative damage, which is a big no. 
So with a minus 95 crit rate Kokomi has, the clamp formula will have to choose between 0%, minus 95 and 100%. And in this case, the middle point between these three values is 0%. So that's what is going to pick out of the formula and calculate later. After the stage of clamp, it will multiply with your crit damage and that's basically it. Now let's implement it in the spreadsheet. So we have our crit multiplier here. We will hit equal and do 1 plus. Now we don't have clamp here as you can see. But we have another very interesting formula called median. It basically does the same thing, just another name. We open parentheses, here we will do 0%, our crit rate, we'll also reference it, and 100%. Now let's stop here and play with it and see it in practice. We can see 1 plus 5 here, let's make it a percentage. This is the 1 and our 5%. Very easy, right? It did exactly as we said. The general scenario between 0 and 100 is we'll choose the one that's more in the middle point, which is 5% here. Now let's say we are in a free scenario and we change this to 110, 200. 100 plus 110 is 210. But here we have 200. Well, that's because median kept it to 100. That's great, it means it works. Now let's get in Kokomi's case, minus 95. And as we can see, 1 plus minus 95, which is 1 minus 95, will give us 5%, which is incorrect. It has to be at least 1. And that's exactly what Median does. It sees that 0 is the middle point as our crit rate is the minimum point. So it chose the 0 and it did 1 plus 0 which is the 100% here. Which means the formula works. So with that in mind, we can now understand how the crit rate works and what are the limits. And exactly why having more crit rate doesn't actually do anything. Now let's change this to our 5. 5% and continue. With this, with your crit rate done, we'll just have to multiply it with your crit damage. Also reference it. And now this is your crit damage. We will calculate. We'll drag it here and that's it. Maybe it seems like a lower number, like a very low number, but that's simply because we have very little crit rate. If we get like a more general ratio, let's say the golden 71 40, you will see that it's an actual nice number and it will enhance our damage more. So this is basically it with damage and crit mold. You can see all the documentation here and it's pretty straightforward. If you have questions or concerns, feel free to join the Coaching Mains Discord server at discord.gg slash coaching. For basic questions such as what's better for my character, you can visit our channels in the head category. However, if you want to ask advanced questions regarding theory crafting, KQM has a theory crafting section where you can find a lot of theory crafters including myself. If you want to ping or message me directly, you can find my Discord tag in the description below. This sums up damage percentage and crit multiplier. As mentioned before, the resources used in this video will be linked in the description below. Next episode, enemies.